Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python Zone. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, I am doing really well. And in today's episode my friends, we are going to make ourselves a storage room. Well, more to the point, a storage hole. Because as you can see we've got our little setup there. And sadly it is at this point in the way of my pathway system. The pathway of which is going to go, uh, you know, pretty much where these chests are. And then connect back up with this. Because uh, off camera I've actually gone ahead and I've made the pathway go all the way around. I haven't decorated it just yet though. So that's something we need to do uh, at some point. If not in today's episode then at some point soon. But uh, yeah, so in the last episode, of course, we went ahead and we spruced up the lake even more, which is now called Twilight Lake, for those of you guys who didn't quite catch that. We also made ourselves a nice entrance here, and it's looking very, very nice. So it's really, really awesome to think that in two episodes worth of time, we've gone from having a really, really crummy, normal-looking roof forest biome with a really crummy-looking lake. Uh, we made it into this uh, with a really nice little entrance as well, so I'm very, very happy. So, like I say... Today's episode, we are going to make ourselves a storage hole, and I've already kind of got an idea for the kind of design I want to go for, and, oh, hello, hello there, sir, I see you over there, go on, get wrecked, there you go, fantastic, so, my idea is, I'd like to make, like, a bit of a sort of circular hole in the wall, and just have it go back a whole bunch, Sort of like a, a hobbit hole, if you really want to call it that. But uh, basically, he's going to have banks of chests on the left and the right. And then maybe something at the back as well. Uh, maybe a, a bit of a workstation or something. And basically, he's just going to serve as a bit of a utility area. Because what project area isn't complete without some sort of utility area? I mean, we've got a bear, we've got shulker boxes, we've got all sorts of th stuff going on here. Which we could probably do with uh, putting down in a proper environment. So, yes. Okay, so. We've got some grass blocks, and this is going to be fairly simple, to be honest with you. Uh, the the design that I've got in mind is also fairly simple, uh, but hopefully with the simple comes the extraordinary. Like, honestly, I sometimes think that simpler things are better in life, and uh, I don't know, sometimes in Minecraft that really does apply, so yeah. Oh man, I'll tell you something. I am tempted to uh, to bring my beacon over here for haste. Ooh, that might not actually be a bad idea. And then we could have it, like, shoved underwater here. Oh, that could be a cool idea. We could have it shoved way down at bedrock underneath the lake here. Have it come out of the lake and then have it shoot out of the top of the uh, leaves up there. Ooh, that's actually a cool idea. I'm going to steal that idea for myself and actually do it. All right, fantastic. I'm going to go get a beacon. Oh, gosh. All right, guys. So we're breaking rule one of Minecraft at this point. Uh, we are wanting to go down to Y11. So we can, uh, you know, put this beacon down and get the full effect of it. Oh, my word. Okay, so. Oh, there we go. 11. Fantastic. All right. So now we've got like a big old open area. So we need to make a 9 by 9 area and then 7 by 7 you know, 5 by 5 3 by 3 You know how it goes. So basically, we've got to go four blocks out from this. Uh, that's two, three, four. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right. Let's get this beacon placed down and we'll see how it looks. Aha. There we go. So any second now, we should have haste 2. Yeah, there we go. All right, and all we got to do is get out. Uh, this might be easy said than done. Uh, oh god, this is gonna kill me. Uh, yep. Well, rip. How stupid am I? Ah, uh, jeez, man. Well, the good news is we're only here. Uh, the bad news is um, I don't think I can get down there without dying again. Um, ah, huh. do I have a le bucket? Yes, I do. Okay. Right, we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, huh? Right, can I, like... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, and water, and take the water, and down we go. Woo, yeah, boys! <laughs> you see, sometimes I'm all mightily dumb, but other times it's like, oh my god, this guy's actually a genius. Jeez, man. Boom, 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 and I'm pretty sure... Wow, we've got everything back even in inventory order, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so uh, let's try that again. Up we go. Oh, wow. That almost perfectly worked. Brilliant. Okay, so even with the trap door closed, the beacon still goes through, and it seems to go all the way to the sky as well. Okay, let's just double check that. Uh, so we've got to get out here. Whee! Oh, that is fantastic. Look at that. Yo! <laughs> I know it's just a beacon, but goddamn, that looks good. And now, once again, witness the power of Instamine. 
Oh, this is going to make it so much easier to get this project done. Oh, oh it's so good, guys. Instamine is the best thing in Minecraft. Like, hands down. No questions asked. No freaking shadow of a doubt. It's just the best thing ever. It really is. I, I don't, I, I can't think of anything more satisfying than Instamine. I really can't. Alrighty, guys. So it's a pretty simple idea for an entrance. It's just sort of a, sort of a, sort of, a, I don't know, a circle kind of deal. So I still want to try and make this seem a bit mystical, right? So we're going to try uh, some, oh God, I forgot about Instamine. <laughs> we're going to try some uh, various things here on cam with you guys. Uh, I think probably the first thing I want to try and do is see if I can waterlog an end rod. Is that possible? No, it's not. It just pops off. Ah, that might be a problem because I was really wanting to put down some water in here and then maybe have some end rods in there or something just so we got some particle effects. Ah, uh, hmm. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could technically put them in there like that if I really wanted to, but I don't think it would look that great. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure that I'm liking this. Yeah, you can't even see the leaves behind that. Oh man. The fact that end rods can't be waterlogged, that's kind of put a bit of a spanner in the works now. Ah. Oh, gosh darn it, dude. Alright, well. Hmm. Back to the drawing board, methinks. Alrighty, guys. So check it out. This is what I've got going on so far in terms of the uh, the chest area designs. Uh, nothing too interesting to really report on here, aside from the fact there's some end rods behind leaves. Uh, there's some down there. There's actually some way beneath down here as well, which are hopefully providing enough light. Yeah, they are. Yeah, look at that. The, the light level way above seven, which is always nice to see. Uh, maybe what could be a cool idea? I mean, I still want to incorporate water into this build in some capacity, right? So... Maybe what I could do is incorporate it sort of in here. Uh, maybe, I mean, I tried leaps before and they didn't really work because they didn't really show through, I guess. I mean, all we can do is just give it a bit of a go. So we'll get you placed in there. We'll get some water placed up there. There we go. All right, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. All right, all right, not bad, not bad. Uh, so let's keep going. Uh, we need to... Down some more slabaroos, rather like this. Okay. And then, of course, another N rod. Oh, no, hang on. N rod, and then boof, boof, boof. And then there'll be an N rod way up here as well. Uh, you know, plenty of stuff to do. Oh, man. You see, it's so weird. Like, you dig out a certain size room, and it's only when it comes to decorating the room that the actual size of the room that you need to dig out, like, just gets exponentially bigger. It's like, it's actually kind of insane when you think about it. But uh, anyways, uh, let me go make some more stairs. Uh, do we want to do something like this? That, eh? Eh? that work? Does that work? Do we think that works? I don't really know. I don't really know. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could do something like that. Maybe stick some end rods up there. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not really too sure. I'm not too certain about the design. I feel like maybe leaves could go up here instead. Uh, okay, let's give that a go. So we'll try the leaves. And yeah. Now I think there's too many leaves. Oh gosh darn it, Python. Make up your freaking mind, dude. All right, folks. So quick progress update to say that the entrance way is pretty much there. And we've also got ourselves uh, this design mirrored on this side as well. We've got a total... Of uh, four double chests so far. I'm thinking of having like three banks of these and then having like a bit of a utility area at the back, right? And then by having all of that done, we'll have a nice little area to just sort of settle down in. And of course, we can work on these surrounding areas around Twilight Lake and Canopy City. Yes, it's going to be a good time, my friends. Oh, yes, it is. Hey, guys, so check it out. I know it's pretty insignificant in the grand scheme of things, but when it's raining underneath the canopy, you can see all of these water particles falling through. Dude, I think that's really, really cool. I know this has always been a feature in Minecraft. Well, for the longest time it has anyway. But, you know, I don't think I've really done anything under any kind of canopy before. So, yeah. This is pretty cool. Well, aside from the first iteration of Canopy City, that is. Uh, but, yeah, this is pretty awesome. All right, nice one. So, I've got my Silk Touch pickaxe mended. I've got my Elytra mended. And we are just about ready to make ourselves an absolute ton more progress on this thing. So, as you can see, we've got ourselves a bank of chests here. Second bank here. We're going to have ourselves, uh, like, two double chests. Or, like, two worth... Two, two 
spaces worth of double check. You know what I'm saying, guys. You know what I'm saying, even if I'm like completely failing to actually say it. But basically, we're going to have double chest like that, and then another double chest like that, and a nice and simple, very, very simple, just, just that, basically. All right, cool. So, I uh, got myself a whole bunch more oak logs from my tree farm of awesomeness. That is right, it is still up and running and all is looking well. And yeah, all I need to do is just like make some progress with regards to getting the decorations going, my friends. Now, the intention is we've got a bank here, we've got a bank here, we're going to have one more bank and then the back. So yeah, this won't be going on for too much longer, my friends. So don't you worry. We're not going to like make this into like an infinitely long thing. Uh, I don't intend on doing that anyway. So yeah, uh, boof, 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 boof. And then the leaves go on top rather like this. There we go. And what have we got at the, at the back? We just got some more uh, dark oak. Okay, that's that's fairly okay, I guess. We can we can get that going. Oh, there's coal ore there, apparently. All right, well, that's okay, I guess. Right, can I, like, get behind here? Is that even possible? Uh, I mean, if I, like, all this precision... Do you know what? Sod this. We're, ju we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. We're just going to break stuff until everything works. There we go. Yeah, you got to love the old-fashioned methods, guys. But right, what do we got under here? we still got some. Uh, we still got some other stuff to do. So do you know what? I'm actually going to take these things out. And yeah, we're going to get the end rods placed in. And we're going to go from there. All right, guys. So at this point, I'm working on the ceiling. And well, I've already got kind of an idea of what I want to do in mind. Uh, first of all... It involves replacing everything with dirt and the surface there. Well, not the surface. You know, you know what I'm saying. Ah, oh, I really can't speak today. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put end rods rather like that, and then we're gonna have ourselves like a, a layer of leaves rather like that. Because honestly, I think the leaves are gonna add something really, really nice to the build. So. Uh, so we've got that going on there. Uh, maybe we do end rods every three. So one there, one, two, three, one there. Uh, well, actually, that works perfectly because we've got two blocks at the end there. And then we've got two blocks at the end here as well. Hey, I like it when things accidentally perfectly work. That's the best thing ever. It really is. <laughs> All right, so let's get you placed in there. We're starting to run low on end rods, actually. Uh, I don't know if we've got any back at the main bases, but, you know, we'll have to figure that out when the time comes but there we go my friends the final bank of chests is also uh, in so all we need to do at this point is maketh the little uh the thing uh you know the utility area i don't know what's going on i really can't speak today i don't know what is going on right now okay so uh let's just try and figure something out maybe we can do something eh, eh, maybe not like that maybe we do something in that way Okay, and then all we need to do is like put some spaces at the back here so we can put chests and like, you know, shulker boxes and end the chest down, all that kind of stuff. It's got to be a good time, my friend. So how's about, oh, we're running on leaves as well. Ew, that's not too great, is it? Well, I mean, all I can do at this point, could we like potentially put water in here? Like if I was to go ahead and place down the actual places where we're going to start putting down some, uh, you know, utility bits. And we could potentially get some water down in the corners or something like that. Make it look a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay. We'll give that a go real quick. We'll see how it looks. And hopefully, it looks good. Alrighty, guys. And now the time has come to actually start putting some utility bits in here. Uh, so, we've got an ender chest here. We could probably chuck that on top rather like that. Uh, we need to go ahead, of course, and grab ourselves the bed. Bring that in here. And then, well, anything else that we need to bring, we'll, uh, we'll bring it with us as well. And hopefully, we can make it look... Really good. Now, obviously, there's one element that we haven't considered just yet. And I think you guys know exactly what it is. Because there is a distinct lacking of something in this build, my friends. And again, I think you know what it is. There is a, there is a lacking of freaking flower pots, dudes. Like, what's going on, man? Like, this is not me. I can't not have flower pots in the build. So we're going to go ahead and rectify that very, very shortly here, my friends. But before we do so, uh, let's go ahead and start picking up some of these uh, other bits and bobs that we've got just laying on the floor here. Uh, whoops, I may have just destroyed something. Oh, dang, blast it, Python, you doofus. Oh, my word. Okay, I've got too much stuff on me. That's the problem. Uh, right, um, yep, okay, I've broken the sugar cane. Uh, boop, boop. 
There we go. Oh, right. Okay. And now we can start transferring these things uh, inside this place. Now, as far as I can remember, I'm pretty sure we had some flower pots left. Uh, so that shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. Uh, so we've got that going on there. Uh, we have a spare ender chest. I'm almost tempted, in fact, to put that uh, there. Right? And then we can have like a flower pot on top of there. Huh? Yeah, we can start introducing them and then maybe also uh, place some flower pots upon these leaf blocks here. I think that could work pretty nicely. Now, obviously, we just need to make sure we have flower pots or clay. This is weird. You see, I've noticed that about the fish. They all roam around in groups, right? And that actually makes sense. Like, biologically, that makes sense. I think they call them a school of fish. I think that's the technical term. But yeah, I, I really love the fact that that's echoed in Minecraft, like the fact that, uh, you know, the fish all sort of roam around together. I think that's really, really awesome. Uh, right, now then, uh, flower pots. Yeah, we got some flower pots. Oh, yeah. Oh, we looking good. Oh, I can hear someone. I hear a skelly butt. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, mobs are going to be a reoccurring theme with this, uh, with this canopy city thing, isn't it? <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Right, I've just come to the realization as well. It's it's a bit dark in here. Eight, eight. Well, actually, technically speaking, it is still above the light level needed to prevent hostile mob spawns. Uh, let's just make sure it's all good around here. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, what if I go ahead and bring in some end rods and just chuck them like in that corner there? So we got them in this corner here. We could put them in that corner there just for a little bit of symmetry, I guess. Maybe I don't really know. I don't really know. Uh, so wait, where did I put them? Yep, there they are. Okay, and now we need stuff to put in the flower pots. Uh, should we go for flowers this time? Could be a nice idea to actually have some flowers in. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we could probably do with a couple more flowers here and there, like oxide daisies. Like we've got them here. Uh, but I don't know where they are in terms of, like, just in general on the... Oh, they're here. Oh, well, that didn't take very long, did it? All right. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I love it when we've got everything we need nearby, like, accidentally so. Like, I didn't even realize they were there. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. All right, so let's get this thing rolling, shall we, my friends? We'll have an oxide there. We'll have a poppy in there. We'll have an oxide there. We'll have a poppy in there. And finally, another oxide there. We'll place some end ones in here. And yeah, we're looking good, ladies and gentlemen. I think all that's left to do is get some uh, item frames, place them all upon the chests here, and actually start organizing things. So yeah, we'll do that to finish off the episode. And yeah, we'll see how it's looking in just a mo. Alrighty guys, and a little bit of time later, and we have finally organized everything into the chests. And as you can see, if we head over this way, everything that was there has been cleared out. The only thing I haven't cleared out is this thing here. I'm keeping this here temporarily because this is the block chart chest, okay? So I've got one of every single type of block that we are going to be uh, using uh, within this settlement here, right? And like I said, I want to go ahead and make like a bit of a building so we can showcase off the block palette more so for me for my memory because my memory's terrible to be quite frank with you guys but you get what i mean so we're going to keep this temporarily until we have ourselves the block chart building going so yeah all is looking well there my friends so if we head into our now finished storage hole we've got all wood blocks in there we've got wood related stuffs in there uh solid stone we've got all of the other types of stone uh cobblestone uh you know stone bricks and you know manufactured stone uh plant related stuff mob drops you know this is all fairly standard stuff dirt related stuff we've got leaves glass sand and gravel and then of course we've got the more valuable things here we've got ores we've got just generic valuables uh we've got dyes and of course decorative stuffs including our old favorite the flower pot so yeah and of course once again nice little uh, area back here as well for some utility stuff so everything is looking fantastic Do you know what though i actually kind of want to get rid of that just so it's a bit more symmetrical you know this is two blocks tall this is two blocks tall to me it just kind of makes sense so we'll chuck you in there and yeah but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that'll just about do it. I mean, we've got ourselves a storage hole now. Everything's looking absolutely fantastic. Uh, obviously, I welcome your guys' feedback in the comments area, as always. But uh, let's jump into the comment question of the video to finish off the episode. Coming from Michael McGee, who says, Instead of glowstone, you should use sea pickles as it is much brighter underwater. This is, of course, referring to the usage of glowstone 
in the water here. And that is an absolutely fantastic idea. The only thing is, and I'm, I'm probably going to do this in the next episode. Uh, what that means is I need to go ahead and find a coral biome again. And more to the point, get another portal going to a coral biome. Uh, the reason that is, is because, of course, you can uh, renew sea pickles by using bone meal on sea pickles. As long as they're on top of coral blocks, as far as I can remember. So, yeah. In the next episode, we're probably going to go exploring a little bit. We're going to try and get ourselves another portal going to a coral biome. And then all will be well but for now ladies and gentlemen it is time to end this episode here thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have enjoyed today's episode please do be sure to drop a like rating it would really help out myself the channel and the video we've been consistently hitting a thousand likes on these episodes so if we can keep that up that would be absolutely super appreciated it really really would be so guys for now hit the subscribe button ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future minecraft content but uh, yeah hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day wherever you are and i'll see you guys in the next episode <laughs>